further ado, let's just dive right into this, and I'm going to read you the article. This is from the, the uh, Tennessean, and uh, the article is, Group warns EPA ready to increase radioactive release guidelines. <laughs> this is by Annie Payne. The EPA is preparing to dramatically increase permissible radioactive releases in drinking water, food, and soil after radiological incidents, according to Public Employees for Environmental Responsibility, or PEER. What is termed a guidance that uh, EPA is considering, as opposed to a regulation, does not require public airing before it's decided upon. Oh, gosh, how convenient. EPA officials contacted today in the Atlanta and D.C. offices had no response on this issue as of 6 p.m. The radiation guides, called Protective Action Guides, or PAGs, are protocols for responding to radiological events ranging from nuclear power plant accidents to dirty bombs. Drinking water, for example, would have a huge increase in allowable public exposure to radioactivity, the group says. That would include... Are you ready for this, guys? A nearly 1,000-fold increase in strontium-90, a 3,000 to 100,000-fold hike in iodine-131, and an almost 25,000 rise for nickel-63. The new radiation guidance would also um, allow long-term cleanup standards thousands of times more lax than anything EPA has ever before accepted permitting doses to the public that EPA itself estimates would cause cancer and as much as every fourth person exposed, the group says. These relaxed standards are opposed by public health professionals inside EPA, according to documents PEER said it obtained under the Freedom of Information Act. PEER is a national alliance of local, state, and federal resource professionals.